in New Jersey. Meantime, a new influx of cases has officials concerned about what's called community spread. Eyewitness News reporter Cleve Bryant is in South Jersey with more on what that means for the Garden State. Cleve. Well, today we are at Camden County Community College as local health experts were preparing first responders for the spread of COVID-19. And this comes as New Jersey health officials are warning that the spread of this virus may be taking a troubling turn in parts of northern New Jersey. Detailing eight new presumptive positive cases of COVID-19 in New Jersey, state health officials announced for the first time that several of the cases have no known origin. Community spread indicates that the coronavirus is amongst us. And we have an expectation that that may be the case. While health officers continue to investigate those troubling cases, they are warning the public to avoid large gatherings where people stand or sit close together. The big thing with social distancing is we want an opportunity for people to have about six feet of distance between themselves and the next person. Putting their recommendations into practice, a panel of health experts who were supposed to address hundreds of local first responders at Camden County College changed their event to a virtual summit. More and more colleges and businesses are converting to remote instead of in-person activities, though Camden County Community College says they haven't reached the point of virtual classes yet. I think, first of all, if you look at most of the colleges and universities doing that, they're residential and they're four-year schools. So our effort is to try to address our kind of unique needs. Also want to give a quick update on one of the two COVID-19 cases from Burlington County. We're learning more about the individual, a doctor who worked at Mercer Bucks Radiology, uh, Cardiology in Robbinsville. After returning from a trip to Italy, the individual saw patients for one day on March 3rd. Now, that office is temporarily closed and some employees are under self-quarantine. Health officials are now trying to track down any patients who may have seen this doctor and give them warnings. Reporting live in Blackwood, Cleve Ryan, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Cleve, thank you.